The air vents on airplanes may provide some temporary cooling off relief, but studies have shown that that air can spread germs and bacteria that can lead to illness. That's why 17-year-old Raymond Wang engineered a new air inlet system for airplane cabins to improve air quality and curb disease transmission. That new system won him first place and $75,000 at this year's Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, and he's here to discuss his invention and the award. Welcome to you. Thanks so much for having me here. Hey, man, congratulations on winning. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, tell me first, what inspired you to dive into this topic? Yeah, so um, I was actually um, hearing about Ebola back in the news um, somewhere back in December, and I started looking into disease epidemics. Now, what I found was that uh, there, with a typical person having something, uh, when I started looking into epidemics, the typical person having something like H1N1, when they actually walk onto a plane, uh, researchers at places like the CDC have actually found that they have the potential to spread uh, these diseases to up to 17 other passengers per flight. And what we actually find uh, after I started looking into airflow and analyzing how airflow works inside aircraft cabins is that the problem happens in between the time that the air comes in and uh, before the air has a chance to get eliminated from the cabin. So there's millions of dollars spent studying the outside of planes. Uh, there's also quite a lot of money that goes into studying these air filters inside the, uh, the airplane ventilation systems. But the biggest problem is this uh, in conventional cabins, there are all these mixing uh, flow patterns of air, which basically uh, mix uh, pathogens everywhere. So if a middle seat guy sneezes, it actually spreads across the rows and across the length of the cabin. And so oh. uh, with yeah, yeah, and so with my innovation, that was sort of the problem I wanted to tackle. Well, thanks for doing that. Appreciate it uh, <laughs> as much as I travel. Uh, how easily can this be installed in current planes? Yeah, so with my innovation is actually I have a sample over here. What basically this covers is a typical uh, window section, and if we say we have a hundred windows on an airplane, notice that this only costs about the typical passengers. Uh, economy class airline ticket to make. And to implement this, we can actually leverage uh, existing cabin surfaces, which means that this, this innovation can be installed right at the gate overnight uh, without having to remove the airplane out of service for something like one to two months. Okay, so have you held on to ownership of your technology and are you speaking to any manufacturers about it? Yeah, so I have a uh, provisional patent on this innovation, and I'm looking to push this uh, towards implementation. I've had the uh, good fortune to speak with many of the judges at the science fair who are actually experts in, uh, in the field and uh, actually come from companies like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, uh, and so they're actually in the airline industry. And I've also seen some interest from um, airlines as well, and so it's very exciting times, and I'm hoping to be able to use these next few months, including um, my summer break, to be able to really push this forward. Raymond, you're very impressive, very intelligent and charismatic, especially for a 17-year-old. What are you studying next fall? Well, I'm actually uh, going into grade 12, so I believe it's called uh, my senior year in the United States. Okay. And so, yeah, and so um, I'm hoping to uh, keep up uh, sort of a well-rounded education because I think... But tell me um, tell me about college. What do you want to do for college? <laughs> yeah, sure. So I want to go into uh, something that combines both engineering and business because it's one thing to have all these great ideas, but it's another thing to be able to leverage things like business practices to be able to actually take these ideas and push them through to implementation. Man, you're ahead of the game, buddy. Uh, do you have any advice for young people who want to become in inventors? Well, I think, yeah, for sure. For me, it was just uh, having these ideas and just going with it and running with it and pushing through. I think uh, when we start with, uh, with tackling any sort of problem, whether it's with research or engineering, it's uh, the hardest part is getting it from idea to an actual prototype or um, something that could be actually used. And so I think a lot of times what people tend to do is they think about all the challenges that could come in the way of the research progressing. But for me, it was just about uh, staying determined and uh, pushing through. And no matter what came in the way, uh, there was always a way to uh, get through that and to ultimately come up with a feasible product that could really be implemented to make real differences 
uh, in people's lives. Man, Raymond Wang, keep up the good work. Keep your head up, buddy. Good job. Thanks.